Hey there! Today, we will be learning how addition and subtraction relate to each other. To help us with this, I would like you to meet Jen. Jen loves baking. Some of her friends are coming over and she would like to bake cupcakes for them. Knowing that seven friends would be coming, she baked seven cupcakes. But wait, what about Jen? She wants to eat a cupcake too. So, she baked one more cupcake. How many cupcakes did she bake in total? Let's count. Seven plus one cupcake. That is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Jen baked eight cupcakes. Let's say that Jen baked one cupcake for herself first and then baked seven more cupcakes later for her friends. This way, how many cupcakes did she bake? Can you try to guess? That's one plus seven. That's right. She still baked eight cupcakes in total. This is because seven plus one and one plus seven are the same. Their numbers are just switched, but both are still equal to eight. Now, Jen got very hungry, so she ate her cupcake before any of her friends arrived. How many cupcakes are left? Since there are eight cupcakes and Jen ate one, eight minus one equals seven. Seven cupcakes are left. If Jen was not hungry and she let all her friends eat their cupcakes first, how many cupcakes are left? We know that she baked eight cupcakes and her friends ate seven of them. So eight minus seven equals one. One cupcake is left for Jen to eat. Along this story, we have created a fact family. Seven plus one equals eight. One plus seven equals eight. Eight minus one equals seven. And eight minus seven equals one. A fact family is made of only three numbers. Here, we used one, seven, and eight to form two addition and two subtraction. And that's how addition and subtraction relate to each other. Let's thank Jen for helping us out. That's it, kids. Thank you for watching. Okay, so hurry up. Get your book and turn your book into page 97 and 98. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.